So this is the Flash Forge Finder 3.0 printer. Um, in my opinion, this is a great beginner level, entry level 3D printer. This is the main 3D printer that I use uh, at my house to build a variety of these projects that you can see here on the side. And I'm really happy with it, really happy with the print quality, really happy with the ease of use. So I'll just go through a few of the um, features that I like. First off, when this printer came, it was essentially fully assembled, which is awesome. Um, the idea of trying to build a 3D printer as a beginner is not something that I wanted to do. So the fact that it was fully assembled was amazing. One mistake that I made is that I accidentally cut one of the motor belts when I um, got it. There's some zip ties that you need to cut when you um, open the box and I accidentally cut the motor belt instead. So I also know that the customer support is excellent and I was able to get a new motor belt. That was pretty easy to install myself, but for your own reference, just cut the zip ties. Um, so it comes pretty much fully assembled. It's pretty easy to get started with it. You can connect to Wi-Fi, which is nice, so you can direct to 3D print, but I also use a um, USB key to uh, put my models in. The settings on the touch screen are easily accessible and you can access them in a variety of different languages. Um, you can print directly from the drive or from a USB device. You can easily upload and load. I'm um, sorry, unload and load filament. Um, speaking of filament, you can use PLA, you can use ABS, variety of different filaments. Uh, I've been using mostly PLA for ease of use and because I'm doing a lot of projects with my kids and I want something that's non-toxic. Um, it comes with two, it's a heated bed and it comes with two uh, print beds. So it comes with a glass print bed, which I essentially don't use. I used it a few times and I found it extremely hard to take the prints off of the glass bed. And so I love the flexible bed that it comes with. So I can show you, I just actually printed off a um, self-watering uh, planter. So this is one part of the self-watering planter. So I'll just take the um, print off the bed. You can just undo these and then flip it up. And you can already see that it popped off because it is so flexible, which is nice. And so sometimes you might need to flex it a little bit, but this one already popped off right away. And so there's my print, really nice print. Again, you can see really nice quality of the print here. And that's what the back looks like with the magnetic printer. So this is the bed that I use. and I'm really, really happy with it. It's super easy to take your prints off. Super happy with the print quality with this. There is filament storage on the back. So I'll try to turn it around here for you. Can get the side view here and you can see that there's a spool on the back and it's very easy to unload and unload using the settings. Overall this is a great printer. I've made a lot of awesome projects with it. I, you can use their flash print software for slicing but you can also use something like here if you prefer that and you can print or download STL files directly from something like Thingiverse or you can build your own uh, through Tinkercad or another design software. Super happy with the Flash Forge Finder printer and I think it's an excellent choice for an entry level beginner FDM 3D printer.